Hello again. This video is going to show us how to replace our front brake pads. I'm going to zoom in on the inboard pad. And you should be able to see the wear indicator, which is the little line that goes in the middle of the pad. As soon as it gets down to the bottom of that line, you're supposed to replace them. Mine are about half worn out, 6,000 miles. I'm going to replace them now. I have a set of new pads here. They're from Scooter Assassins online. I've uh, got them off of eBay. These fit the SYM HD200. These are centered bronze pads. We're going to see how these work. If I don't like the way that they are, I'm going to go back with the OEM style. You only need a simple few tools for this. Um, I just so happen to be using a nice clamp that's going to compress the caliper back in. I don't like using vice grips, pliers, or anything, and my caliper compressor that I have at work does not fit this. It's designed for cars. I just don't have one. It's not that strong of a piston. Uh, you're also going to need a 12 millimeter uh, socket, wrench, whichever your preference is. You're not going to have a good time getting a wrench in there because one of the slides is in the way. Uh, it's a really tight fit, so definitely you're going to have to use a socket. All we do is take these two bolts off and our caliper is going to be free. We'll come back into that in just one second. Here are the two caliper bolts that came out. If you notice the yellow, that is SYM's Loctite. Clean this all off the threads and use your own Loctite. Uh, use a service bolt. This is very pliable and it's coming out straight just peeling it off. You want to use medium strength. Do not use the red high strength. You don't have a high heat application here. All you need to do is keep it from backing out. Here is the caliper. Um, gently just let it hang here. Try not to drop it, jostle around, twist the lines too much. And here are the pads and the wear indicators. I'm just going to pop these off. This one just slides right out like here. And the other one just slides off of the caliper. And uh, there you go. Put them back on in the same direction. Okay, this is all you do is just slightly squeeze this in. Boom. Bottom pad just drops straight out. I can't quite do this, I don't think, with one hand, but you still squeeze the back with the spring. And then the front pad, the outboard pad, should, or I'm sorry, the inboard pad should slide right out. I just can't seem to do this one handed right here, so I'm just going to drop the camera temporarily. Okay, here's the old pads compared to the new ones. As you can see, there's easily twice as much pad left over compared to what the old ones have. I'm just going to keep these as an emergency in case I don't like the centered bronze ones. Uh, simply, uh, and again, I'm not going to be able to do this one-handed, but I'm going to try to get it on there. You slide in the outboard inboard pad first, and then you put on the outboard pad. You'll have to squeeze the whole assembly together once you're doing it. Spring activated. Um, I have a little brake lube that I'm going to put in right here on this side. On the other side, I'm also going to put it on the slide up on the top. It's called a caliper slide. It's what it uh, basically slides on. A little lubricant doesn't hurt. Also, I'm going to put a little compound on the back side of the pads that helps sort out some vibrations. After we get that in, uh, simply just take the caliper, put it back on, bolt it up, and we're done. You'll have to compress in the piston. You could do it with just your thumb. Two thumbs is a little easier. Or if you need something to help do it uh, like this, something that does not mar, it uh, will set you all up and you'll be good to go. Okay, we also we want to make sure that our slide pins are nice and smooth. Check the rubber boots, make sure there's no rips in them. If by doing this you accidentally pull off a boot, make sure to get it lined up here and here. They have to be nice and snug and the boots have to be secured in a little bit of a spot. The caliper piston is pushed all the way in. We're going to push the pads in and get set up to go. Hopefully this will go a little easier since I'm doing this on my knees here. Okay, after we have our inboard pad put into place, we take the outboard and we slide it up until it locks into the assembly. It may take a little bit of jiggling from the front and the back, but we will get it inside there. Okay, we're all set. We'll have a little bit of a difficult time getting this on because they're brand new pads. What we'll have to do is just try pushing it on the rotor 
uh, may have to use a little bit of jiggling but it should go on no problem we put our two outside bolts back in and then we're ready to go okay everything's all back together now I'm going to let the Loctite dry for a few hours before I take it for a test drive and uh, we'll see how it goes that's about uh, wraps it up save yourself some money relatively almost forgot and it's pretty important make sure you pressurize your brake pedal a few times hold it make sure there's no sinking uh, there's no fluid leaking anywhere I don't see anything looks like we're good to go if you also notice your level will increase in your brake reservoir so if you do top off your fluid and then decide to change your brake pads putting new brake pads on you are going to run into a little bit of an issue it's gonna leak basically um, your handle is gonna be a lot stiffer than what it usually was simply because when your brakes start wearing out you're, you just lose pressure basically uh, that's it and um, hopefully we'll hear from you again thanks Slacking loafer that's not helping.